Okay, here we have a demonstration. Um, here's the new unit with the new external sensor. There's a brand new pack of Sony batteries. As you can see, there's a battery missing on that one and a battery missing on that one. The instructions are to put one battery in this, which is set to channel one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's set to channel one. Put the battery in the proper way. Take this unit, put the battery in the proper way, you'll see it now powers on, has the internal temperature just fine, if I then set the external temperature for sensor number one, have it sitting right next to each other. You can see the red lights blinking every now and then showing that it's attempting to transmit and it's working properly. You can see that on the display, the little radio waves are showing above the number one sensor thingy, yet it's still not syncing up and properly seeing the external sensor. So now it's been almost two minutes since I've rebooted the main unit. It still has not synced up. The remote sensor continues to flash the red LED indicating that it is transmitting. Obviously it should have synced up by now. It stopped syncing, attempting to sync after about three minutes. And there you see that the main unit has stopped attempting to sync. There's no more radio waves coming out of the little number one location. So it failed to sync up with the remote sensor. We go home and remove the battery from each of these. Just we're gonna repeat the process on channel three this time. And I'm going to also use the reset function. So let me go ahead and insert the battery. And using a paper clip. Press down the reset button and done. Other battery. Reset button. I'm done. So we're on channel three this time. Let's 
see we're attempting to sync on channel 3. And it's been a minute, still no sync. The red LED on the remote sensor is flashing, indicating that it's working properly. If I switch through the other, there's the internal temperature, sensor 1, which we're not using, 2, which we're not using, and back to 3 again, which we're currently configured for, and we still have no signal. About 35 more seconds until it stops trying to sync. And there it's done trying to sink. That's it.